Well, it's another weekend in April, which means it's Supernova Gold Coast time, and this is the 14th year of coming to the conventions. Could be 15, maybe 16, but we'll say 14 just for safety. We're going to have an Aussie flavour today. Back to Todd Lassans from NCIS Sydney, Rescue Special Ops, and of course, home and away, because he's an Aussie actor. Let's chat to him on the other side of this. So Todd, you're with me now. Thank you very much for your time. Thank Supernova you. on the Gold Coast. We're back again. Uh, I think this is the 14th year that we've been coming to, to Supernova. 14th. Wow. 14th. Wow. Um, and constantly impressed uh, by the lines, the people that come out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what we haven't really been doing, though, is a lot of the Aussie actors. So yes. I'm, I'm on this side of the aisle now. Yeah. I am looking at your queue. It's empty. Empty at the Which moment. is why we can do a take two, <laughs> which is really handy. A looking at time. Looking over at Jodie Whittaker, I mean, she's got an overflow line. Uh, I love you, it. You were telling me off air, not a big sci-fi guy, but Lord of the Rings was kind of where oh, you were at. Lord of the Rings is my jam for sure. I will admit, uh, what I, I was just saying before to you, I find fascinating. You, I never, I, I'm, I, I'm, because I don't know these genres in these worlds, I, I'm constantly blown away by the line and the people and the following of these kind of shows, you know. I don't think I've ever seen Doctor Who or, you know, the Star Treks and stuff. I've Star Wars, obviously. Lord of the Rings is my jam. Um, or Harry Potter or anything. Haven't actually seen Harry Potter, which is terrible. I know everyone's always like, what are you doing? <laughs> I promise I'll do it. Um, I love it. I love seeing the line. I mean, Jody's line is literally out the door. It's incredible. Yeah. But everyone's so lovely. All the people that they have at Supernovas, they're always, always so lovely and approachable. And, you know, um, even the, the, the girls down there. Who else do we have? Oh, Emily. Karen, you know, they're fantastic. It's 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 lovely. It's great because you get to meet all these other actors and people in the uh, in the shows that you kind of work alongside with. So, yeah, I love it. And who are people here to see for you? You've been across Rescue Special Ops, Home and Away, Vampire yeah. Diaries, The Flash. Yeah. Who, who, which character are people coming to see? It's funny. I think because NCIS has just kind of come out and I've been to quite a few cons before for the other shows, so... NCIS has kind of been popping off here, which was good. It was really busy yesterday, which was nice. Um, what would be next? Maybe Vampire Diaries and, and Home and Away would be kind of in a close, and then Spartacus as well. Um, I mean, Spartacus has been out for like 10 or 12 years now, so that's been around for a while. But it's great that we're getting so much NCIS heat too, because I'm, you know, I love that show and I want it to go again. So. And it was a real beneficiary of uh, the writer strike and, and the actor strike in the yeah. US that it made that primetime debut on yeah. CBS. So good. So obviously it was a Paramount Plus commission. Yeah. When you found out that it was going to be leading CBS in the yeah. fall, US fall, what, was there any sort of excitement on that? Oh, my, I mean, that again, that's the dream. Like, Huge that is, audience. That is the dream scenario, yeah. to be shooting something in Australia. You know, CBS franchise has done a thousand episodes now. I mean, I think it's one of the, actually might be the biggest franchise in history. Yeah. So, insane. And when you get the call that you've got the job and you're aware of that scope, it, that's what makes it so mind-blowing as well. Um, and to get to play to an Australian and shoot in Sydney, it's like, it's. I mean, it's the dream scenario. But yeah. more so than... You know, we had a pretty good inkling, obviously, it was going to be in the States because, you know, it's such a big franchise. But when it was successful in the States and we got such great numbers, that was that was awesome that people were behind it and wanted to support the show and, and responded well to the show and stuff. So then we got season two greenlit. So, uh, you know, I'm over the moon. And, of course, we love the mountain of entertainment being uh, an original Star Trek podcast. So uh, it's great to, to have that branching out and looking at the other franchises as well. A little bit off topic today, but I, yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah. awesome. And to have that mountain of entertainment, I, I love that phrase. Um, and that renewal for season two, nice surprise. Best. I got it on uh, Christmas Eve. Nice. I got the phone call from my agent. and uh, No, no, from the uh, showrunner, the creator of, of our series. And... Uh, it was like we're going again. You greenlit. I was like, I was in the car actually with my with my kids, and I screamed so loud in the car that our, my little nine-month-old son, or well, he was six months old at the time, cried because <laughs> I was yelling so loud. I'm like, sorry, daddy, just got some good news. Uh, but no, that again, to be on a show that I'm, uh, I'm I just end so in love with to then continue it. That again, as I said, I, I know I keep using the phrase, but it literally is the dream. It absolutely is. The announcements are ringing out, but these mics are pretty good. So we're going to keep going. And I guess this is the thing. So 
what are we looking forward to in season two of uh, of NCIS Sydney? Any ideas yet? Yeah, I mean, we can't, I can't give away too much. Um, put it this way: the showrunner was like, "Swing for the fences." That was the note. In other words, go even bigger, badder. Uh, action. I know episode one and two that we've got a bit of an insight on is just like action central. Uh, it's it's epic. I was reading it like it was just page turning. I was I was so invested. It's it's going to be awesome, and it um it's it's a beautiful continuation from from season one. So yeah, they're they're just going. I I feel like they're just every season they're just going to get bigger and bigger with it and got the best harbour in the world to film on and all the action sequences so yeah it's going to be it's going to be awesome and just an awesome location as well i know uh, every, i couldn't believe it i was i've lived in sydney before and i was still rocking up to locations going i didn't even know this place existed like it's just yeah awesome and, and are we obviously no spoilers and ndas and all that sort of stuff but uh, uh, is there any sort of inkling that we're going to get some crossovers happening between between the series yes i'm assuming at some point that'll be happening yeah yeah I, it wouldn't be NCIS without crossovers, put it that way. So there's definitely talks about that. So, uh, yeah, wait and see how it plays out. Looking forward to that. Todd, thank you very much for your time. Appreciate the second take. Uh, and uh, NCIS Sydney Season 2 uh, coming really soon. Yeah, probably November. I think they'll keep it on the same pattern. So we start shooting next week and uh, wrap up before the end of the year. And I think they'll put it back on Paramount around November.